Part 1. You will hear a telephone conversation between a male insurance agent and a female client who wants to make changes to her policy. First, you have some time to look at questions 1 to 5. Now we shall begin. You should answer the questions as you listen, because you will not hear the recording a second time. Listen carefully and answer questions 1 to 5. Good morning. Tauber Insurance Company. How can I help you? Good morning. I want to alter my insurance policy. Is that for your house, contents or vehicle? My vehicle. Can you give me the number of the policy, please? Certainly. I have it here in front of me. It's ZQW5009. And what make and model of car is it? It's a Mazda. A Mazda Marvel. And what's the CC rating? Sorry, what do you mean? How big is the engine? Is it 1,500? or 1,800 cc, for example. Oh, that. It's actually much bigger than that. It's 2,500 cc. Thank you. Now, I just have to ask you a few questions to verify your identity. What name is the policy under? Heathcote. Let me just bring that up on the computer. Yes, can I just confirm your first name, please? Well, my first name is Lisa, but I'm known by my middle name, Marie. Right. I see both here, but Lisa is the one I want for ID purposes. And your date of birth, Lisa? I mean, Marie. The 22nd of August, 1955. Correct. Just one more question before we get started. Can you remember the password on this policy? Oh, dear. I didn't know I had a password on it. Everyone has a password. Would you like to take a guess? Possibly it's my mother's name. And what would that be? Sophia. Sorry, guess again. All right. Oh, I remember now. It's my grandfather's name, Jack. Yes, followed by some numbers. 1897, right? Correct. Now we can get down to business. What exactly do you want to change? Well, a couple of things. Firstly, I think it's overvalued at the moment. Can we reduce the value by $5,000? You mean bring it down to $15,000? Yes, I'm sure it's lost quite a bit of value over the past year. Done. Now, what's the other thing? Before you hear the rest of the talk, you have some time to look at questions 6 to 10. Now listen and answer questions 6 to 10. Well, I want to add the name of another driver to my insurance policy. Who is it? His name is Samuel Michaels. He doesn't have the same family name as you. No, he doesn't. Is that a problem? No, it shouldn't be, as long as he's over the age of 25. But we find it easier to get approval for family members. Oh, he is family. He's married to my daughter. He's my son-in-law. And he's 28, in fact. Good. And what would he be using the car for? Would it be business or social purposes? Not really. You see, I've injured my right arm and I'm having difficulty driving. It's not an automatic. I have to use the gear stick. And Sam, that is Samuel, 
offered to drive me to my appointments and so on. He's a good driver and I feel safe with him, but I'd like to know that the car is still insured with him behind the wheel. So that would be family reasons then? Yes, I think so. Will my premium go up? No, as long as you can provide us with a photocopy of his driver's licence. A true copy. You know what I mean. You'll have to get someone from the Department of Transport to sign it, saying that he's seen the original document. I think we can manage that without any difficulty. Oh, and while he's at the department, he should ask them for a record of any driving offences, demerit points, that kind of thing. Only for the last five years, though. We're not interested in anything beyond that, but it's important that he has a clean record for the five previous years. Oh, I'm sure that won't be a problem. Is there anything else you need? Just the date for when you'd like this to take effect. Today, if that's possible. Yes. We can issue temporary cover from today's date, but full cover won't apply until we've received the paperwork and it's been approved. What exactly is temporary? He'll be covered for two full weeks, but it will lapse after that time if there's any problem with his credentials.